It's been two weeks since those rolling blackouts left hundreds of thousands of Texans in the cold, and today we learn more about where the problem started. 82 power generators across Texas were out of commission that day due to the extreme cold. At least three of them <laughs> located here in the central Texas region. Today, ERCOT faced more tough questions from lawmakers. KXAN's Reagan Hackleman has continuing coverage on what went wrong on February 2nd. Almost two weeks after the power went out for hundreds of thousands of Texans. 82 outages. I think is unacceptable. State lawmakers want answers. I am disappointed that we're still uh, facing so many questions that aren't answered. Things uh, worsened quickly. On Monday, the three people who are in charge of keeping the lights on in Texas heard an earful from state lawmakers who just don't understand why power plants across Texas weren't prepared for the cold weather. It is unacceptable to not be prepared for weather you know is going to happen. According to the Public Utility Commission, each power plant is required to have plans on file to deal with bad weather like thunderstorms and hurricanes. But they're not necessarily prepared for extreme cold weather like we saw two weeks ago. One industry insider tells KXAN the reason is it's too expensive and it rarely gets that cold. Did they file a plan of weatherization and did we follow up on that to make sure someone's inspecting? Uh, and the obvious answer is that you know we had not done that sufficiently enough. State lawmakers are also concerned that communications with both the public and between state agencies did not work according to plan. When you have the major state agencies divided up in such a way that are responsible for all this, divided up in such a way where they're having to call each other on cell phones to figure out what's going on, that's probably not the most efficient way to deal with the public's health and safety. ERCOT and the Public Utilities Commission says they don't need the state to step in, but state lawmakers might be thinking differently. Yes, we're probably going to be looking at things we need to do to uh, further instruct them on what we want them to do. And that was Reagan Hackleman reporting. Well, many of us cringe at the thought of our utility bills after the recent cold snap, especially after a new report finds we're paying more than most Americans for our electricity bills. The study, performed by the Texas Coalition for Affordable Power, found Texans paid $11.5 billion more than the national average. But over the past year and a half, natural gas has plummeted, bringing Texas electricity prices in line with the national average. That's about 12 cents a kilowatt hour. Unfortunately, Texas consumers do not seem to to be taking advantage of deregulation. The latest report blasting ERCOT and deregulation did not take into account that there are offers in Texas for far less than 12 cents a kilowatt hour, some as low as six cents. The experts say deregulation only works with aggressive consumers. For whatever reason, um, consumers seem a little bit reluctant to grab onto the good deals that are out there. If people were a little bit more aggressive in shopping, deregulation would have a big impact on price. <laughs> Now, most of Austin and Central Texas is still regulated, but the price stays competitive for the most part. There are plenty of other customers out there that have a choice. You can learn more about them on the Texas Electric Choice website. Go to powertochoose.org.